good morning students and welcome back to the english class in our previous class we have studied about sentence and in sentence we have studied about the parts of sentence we have also seen what is phrase what is clause but today we are going to study about the kinds of sentences now kinds of sentences are also of two types according to the function and according to the structure but first we will study kinds of sentences according to the function so here comes the first one the first one is declarative sentence what do we mean by the declarative sentence these are the most common type of sentences they usually provide information and are used to make statements we put a full stop at the end of a declarative sentence here are some of the examples number 1 i can play the violin we hope to see you tomorrow she is studying english declarative sentences are of two kinds affirmative or positive and negative for example i can play the guitar i cannot play the guitar second one interrogative sentences by the name itself you can know interrogative that means the question sentences these are used to ask questions you form a question when you want to ask someone something either to make a request offer something get information or clarification it is a type of a sentence that always has a question mark at the end there are a few different sub types of interrogative sentences which will be studying further first one is yes or no interrogative in this type of questions we get the answer either yes or no these questions usually starts with an auxiliary verb such as do does can or would these can also be called closed questions and the answer would generally be yes or no here are some examples do you like my house are you english can you help me have you done your homework the second one we have the alternative interrogative which is also known as choice questions or choice interrogative these questions usually offer two or more alternative responses and give the other person some options these also start with auxiliary verbs here are some examples shall i call her or send an email do you want tea coffee or juice will you tell him or shall i do you prefer long hair or short so these are the two types of interrogative sentences now we will be studying the third and the fourth the third one wh interrogative these questions generally start with words beginning with wh such as what who when where how can also be used even though it doesn't begin with wh these are also known as open questions the answer would generally be explanatory and open ended here are the some of the examples what happened how did you do that where did you go what are you doing now the fourth one the tech questions tech questions are these questions usually have a declarative statement in the question generally the question is tagged on to the end of such a statement these consist of a main or auxiliary verb followed by a pronoun or existential there here are the some of the example geena plays the piano doesn't she now geena plays the piano is a present tense simple present tense sentence so here we are using a helping verb as does and because it is a affirmative sentence which is positive sentence we use the question tag in a negative for the positive sentence so we have used doesn't she and we also use a first of e when we are using the negativity there to write it down you are lying to me aren't you so here are is used as a helping verb which comes out and forms in the end asking you 
clarifying that thing aren't you there is something wrong with her isn't there so is is your helping verb here which is used there and there the subject which will follow the helping verb because it is an affirmative sentence we have added not there now the next category is imperative sentences these are used to issue orders or directives or make demands in this type of sentence the main verb is usually the base form this an exception to the rule that metric clause a clause that contains the subordinate clause are always finite here are the some of examples do your homework close the door wait for me call me tomorrow tech questions can sometimes be added on to the end of the imperative sentences also so in simple word if i say imperative sentences are the sentences in which we used to give the order or we request yes do your homework will you send me an email soon won't you buy some milk will you now the next one is our last one that is the exclamatory sentences as the title suggests these sentences are used to make exclamations exclamation here means the sudden feeling that comes out from a heart suddenly you look so beautiful what a silly man run he is coming here now we will study the kinds of sentences according to the structure there are three kinds of sentences according to the structure that we will be studying in detail number one. here is the number one simple sentence what do we mean by the simple sentence this is the most basic kind of sentence the sentence consists of a verb and a subject expressing a complete thought there are no dependent clauses only a single independent clause forms a simple sentence for example he ate an apple or orange the cat died now the next one is compound sentence Here there are two or more independent clauses but they are joined to form one sentence using a coordinating conjunctions at times a semicolon instead of a conjunction may be also used to join the clauses but none of the clauses should be dependent clause which means the clauses must be able to form sentences even after the other clause for example i arrived late yet i attended the class he went to the mall and he saw a big shop she bought a bag the bag was red now the third one that is the complex sentence when there is one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses joined together using subordinated subordinating conjunctions or a relative pronoun the sentence form is a complex sentence there has to be only one independent clause while the other clauses must be dependent clauses if the sentence begins with an dependent clause then a comma must be put after the dependent clause for example she met the man who had followed her he came on a horse which was black as the night i am awake though it is late though it is late i am awake so i think i have made the clear about the kinds of sentences on the basis of function on the basis of structure thank you children now this is the homework that you have to do in your book that is the page number 5 and 7 and as usual you have to send it by 5 pm to 7 pm when you finish off your homework thank you take care see you soon